What's it like to stay at Four Seasons Nevis with kids? In this video, I'll share our family's impressions of this luxury resort and tell you how kid-friendly this property is. We'll cover it all from accommodations to dining, from the kids club to the spa, so keep watching. If you're new to Top Flight Family, my name is Carmen, we're the Signovi family, and we are all about inspiring families to travel the world in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when traveling with kids. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Top Flight Family. Four Seasons Resort Nevis was opened in 1991, and it was actually the Four Seasons' very first property in the Caribbean ever. So it has a pretty long and storied history among the brand's properties. In April 2018, the resort began a massive multi-year, multi-million dollar renovation. And we were fortunate enough to visit just a couple months after this huge project was completed. Many thanks to Four Seasons Nevis for hosting us on this trip. Getting to the resort. One of the most unique aspects of Four Seasons Nevis is actually how you get to the resort. Nevis does have its own airport, but it can only accommodate smaller aircrafts and private jets, so most visitors to Nevis actually fly into St. Kitts instead. From the airport, you take a taxi to the pier, and from there, you take a ferry to Nevis. This may sound like a lot of steps, but it actually feels like a fun adventure, which our girls absolutely loved. Also, the ride from the St. Kitts Airport to the pier is incredibly scenic, and it made me want to explore St. Kitts more on a future trip. As soon as we stepped foot onto that boat, it felt like all the stress from our everyday lives in New York City melted away. Of course, it didn't hurt that the crew members mixed us up some delicious rum punches while we waited for the other passengers to board. Sean and Ella enjoyed their ting soda all the way to the resort. We were greeted on the pier and whisked off to our villa by golf cart. Accommodations. This is where Four Seasons Nevis really shines. The resort has a total of nearly 200 rooms available, ranging from standard rooms to suites to villas. We were fortunate enough to stay in a three-bedroom Pinney's Beach Villa, and at nearly 3,300 square feet, this was easily the largest and the most luxurious villa that we've ever experienced. The open plan great room has a massive kitchen, dining area, and a living area with floor to ceiling glass doors that can be opened for an indoor outdoor feel. Just outside the kitchen is an outdoor dining room, complete with a grill, as well as a private pool and a sprawling lawn. On the other side of the ground floor are two of the three bedrooms. There's a bedroom with two queen beds and an ensuite bathroom, as well as a king room with an outdoor patio and a pretty epic bathroom with an outdoor shower. On the ground floor, there's also a powder room and a little courtyard. Upstairs is the master suite. There's a massive walk-in closet, a bathroom with another outdoor shower, another outdoor patio, and a spacious master bedroom with soaring vaulted ceilings. We actually have a whole video where we take you on a detailed tour of the villa, so if you'd like to check that out, I'll link it down below. Oh, and one more fun perk about staying in a villa is that you get your very own golf cart to use for the duration of your stay. Anytime we stay at a resort where you get around by golf carts, the girls love it, but having our very own just totally made their day. Dining. If it's cocktails that you're looking for, there are two main bars at Four Seasons Nevis. There's Crowned Monkey Rum Bar and Castaway Beach Bar. In terms of dining, there are three signature restaurants, and they all serve a mixture of Caribbean and American cuisines. You have On the Dune, Mango, and Esculinia. Now, because we were staying at a villa and had a kitchen stocked full of groceries, we actually cooked a lot of our own meals. So out of the three restaurants, we only tried Esculinia since that's where the breakfast buffet is served. And what a breakfast it was. We absolutely loved all of the fresh fruit, the salad, the cheese, the cold cuts, and the omelet station was particularly good. Not surprisingly, the girls' favorite was the pancake and waffle station mostly because the toppings included M&Ms and gummy bears, and as you can see, they took full advantage. By the way, if you'd like to check out the vlog from our trip to Nevis to see everything we did on and off the resort, I'm gonna link it down below. Pools. There are actually three different pools at Four Seasons Nevis, but we mostly hung out at Lyman Pool. This is the resort's signature Infinity Edge Pool. As part of the resort's renovation, it was completely reconstructed and raised up so that when you look out from the lobby, you see one long sight line straight from the pool out to the Caribbean Sea. 
If it's in your budget, I definitely recommend renting a cabana for the day. The service is very attentive and the lunch options were excellent. I think cabanas can be especially useful if you're traveling with younger kids who still need a midday nap because they can easily nap on the sofa in the cabana and that way you won't have to go back to your room or villa and miss out on the sunshine. Four Seasons Nevis also has a long, lovely beach with soft, soft sand. But on this trip, our girls were a little bit more into the pool, so we actually spent most of our time there instead of at the beach. Kids Club. One of the updates made during the resort's renovation is that the Kids for All Seasons Club was moved to a new location next to the family-friendly Calypso Pool. Now, use of the Kids Club is complimentary, but there are certain special activities on the daily schedule that do require an additional fee, and those can range anywhere from $15 to $65. These are things like cooking classes or certain arts and crafts classes. The design of the Kids Club is colorful and modern. There's a small splash pad right outside and a climbing wall inside, and those are really great options if you have more active kids. There are plenty of arts and crafts supplies, as well as toys and books. I'd say that compared to other Four Seasons properties, the kids club here is pretty basic. I think toddlers and preschoolers would be pretty content, but if you have older kids like us, they may get bored easily and not want to stay that long. That said, it's still great to have a place to drop your kids for a couple of hours if, let's say, you want to check out the spa, which leads me to fitness and spa. One area in which Four Seasons Nevis really shines is the plethora of fitness options. If you're a golfer, you'll enjoy the 18-hole par 71 course. You'll often see green vervet monkeys scurrying around the course, which I imagine would make playing golf that much more fun. There's a well-equipped fitness room, daily yoga and Pilates classes, and you can even work out with a personal trainer. If you're a tennis player, you're really going to enjoy the fact that the resort has four red clay courts, four hard courts, and two astroturf courts. We took a family tennis lesson and Dave, our coach, was fantastic. It was a girl's first time playing and he made it so much fun for them. After you get your workout in, you'll have to check out the spa, which is really top notch. The treatments are all done in these individual little huts. Before or after your treatment, you can relax in the cold and warm water outdoor plunge pools. Serge and I booked a couple's massage. It was the signature Nivesian massage, which starts with a cleansing foot ritual in which our feet were bathed in warm, lemongrass-infused water. The spa technicians then applied an aromatic scrub made of brown sugar, cinnamon, coconut, and nutmeg, and then it was time for the main event. We got to choose from four different scents for our massage oil, and the massage itself was fantastic. I mean, we were already pretty relaxed when we got to the spa, but after the massage, we were like putty. So I highly recommend that you check out the spa when you stay here. How to make the most of your stay. If you plan on visiting Four Seasons Nevis, here are three tips to make the most of your stay. Number one, stay in a villa. If you don't mind a bit of a splurge, I would say that staying in a villa at Four Seasons Nevis is really the ultimate way to experience this resort. The villa that we stayed in can sleep up to eight adults, so if it's a stretch for you budget-wise to do it yourself, you could split the cost between two or three families or a big group of friends. Number two, book a cabana. It's always nice to have a home base for a day at the pool, and a private pool cabana just can't be beat. If you're more of a beach person than a pool person, you can book a beach cabana instead. You'll get a personal hammock, which is pretty fun. Number three, book a spa treatment. If you can only pick one thing on this list to do, make it a visit to the spa. The indoor-outdoor feel of the spa is pretty unique, and the quality of the treatments are top-notch. Okay, if you would like to check out the vlog from our trip to Nevis to see everything that we did on and off the resort, just click there and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.